<clears throat> Hello? How are you today? Hello, hello. Hello, people. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, Flor. Good evening, teacher. Hello, it is. Okay, good. <clears throat> Just give me, give me a second. Okay, good. There we are. Okay, good. So here we have, this is the, um, Let's see where we stopped yesterday. That's right. I really like pop music. Okay. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation expressing likes and dislikes. Welcome to our section four. Do you like rap? To begin our class, I want you to pay close attention to the following conversation. Notice how they ask questions using do and how they answer. Again, this conversation introduces us to simple present. I really like pop music. Do you like rap, Liz? No, I don't like it very much. Do you? Yeah, I do. I'm a big fan of Eminem. I think I know him. Does he play the piano? The piano? No, he doesn't. He's a singer. Oh, I guess I don't know much about rap. So, what kind of music do you like? I really like pop music. Who's your favorite singer? Celine Dion. I love her voice. Do you like her? No, I don't. I don't like pop music very much. On the discussion box, I want you to share with us what kind of music do you listen to or like? Okay, so this is what we listened to last night. And then, uh, then we had the, by the end of the lesson, the say participants would be able to ask 
questions, simple present using do or does, along with WH questions, right? And this is what we were practicing also yesterday. And now we have this one, remember? The other video, right? At the end of this lesson, participants will be able to ask questions in simple present using do and does, along with WH question words. We will get ready to ask two types of questions, yes-no questions and WH questions. On your notes, please jot down both auxiliaries as we go over them. Remember, we use these auxiliaries for simple present tense in questions and negative answers. Yes, no, and WH questions with do. Do you like rap? Yes, I do. I like it a lot. No, I don't like it very much. What kind of music do you like? I like rock a lot. Does he play the piano? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. What does he play? He plays the guitar. Do they like the Beatles? Yes, they do. They love them. No, they don't like them very much. Who do they like? They like you too. Object pronouns. Me. You. Him. Her. It. Us. Them. Did you notice both auxiliaries? Do and does? Do. Does. Did you notice the changes that occur when we use the auxiliary in a question for third person singular? Does he play the piano? If not, play the video again until you understand it. Keep in mind that whenever we use does, the verb goes back to its base form. Something I want you to understand is when the question being asked uses a WH question word, it means we need more information when answering. In this class, as already mentioned, we're talking about two kinds of questions. Check it out. Do you like Madonna? Yes, I do. No, I don't. What does she sing? She sings pop music. Okay. Now, just uh, probably... Well, uh, where's this? <clears throat> they mention also the object pronouns. Okay, the object pronouns is where well, you have I and then you have me. Okay, you and then you have you. Then you have he and him. You have also she and her. Then you have it. It. And then you have they. Them. And then you have you again. That's you. And that's how oh, we. Then we have here us. Okay, so these are the object pronouns me, you. Okay, we have him, her, and then we have. Okay, for example, uh, you can say a sentence using me. You say, for example, uh, she likes me. Okay, he likes you. And then you say, for example, 
it Jen or Jenny likes him. It Tom likes her. It, I love it. It, they like us. And then we can say we love them. And he likes you. Okay, if you see all the object pronouns, okay, the object pronouns go at the end of the sentence or after the verb. Okay, this is where you have to remember that you have these are subject subject pronouns and these are object pronouns the object is con the kyle action right so we have it when you say i love it, it can be a dog can be your car can be your house it can be a song for example uh, i love that song I like it very much. I love it. Okay. Then you can say here, for example, uh, I love the Beatles. I love them. Okay. I love them means that you really like, okay, that you really like something. He likes you can be for example, the teacher the teacher likes you. Okay. This you here is the plural. Okay, the plural. Then when you say the teacher likes you, is the group. Okay. Ustedes le caen bien al teacher. The teacher likes you. Okay, talking about plural, hablando de un grupo, right? Not only, only about one person. Questions about the object pronouns? Okay, no? Okay, so this one remember, after the action, me, she likes me, she likes you, she likes him, she likes her, she likes it, she likes us, she likes them, she likes you in general. He likes me, he likes you, and then you can use all of them the same way, right? You can say, for example, that a, let's say Brenda likes music. Brenda likes music. Then you can say, she likes it. Okay. She is Brenda. Likes is the action. And it is music. Brenda likes music. She likes music. She likes it. Okay, so you're gonna use them. Brenda likes the Beatles. Okay. She likes them. 
because it's plural, right? Then you have it here. Then she is always third person. All right, so then this is the explanation. If you have no questions, then let's do the knowledge check. There we have it. Yes? ¿Y cuándo ocuparíamos el you en plural? The, the example that I gave you about the teacher, the teacher likes you in a group. Uh -huh. Okay, for example, the, they say the teacher likes you, the group. I told you uh -huh. it's no uh, one person. It's no one person. Say, teacher, when you say it's the students? Uh -huh. The teacher the likes... Class? Yeah, but when you say she, the teacher likes the students, is the teacher likes them. Oh, uh, yes. Okay. Uh -huh. And then when you say the teacher likes you, is the group. Okay, unless you say the, t the teacher likes Joanna. Okay, the teacher likes her. Okay, and in this case, uh, ustedes le caen bien al teacher. Okay, the teacher likes you. That's the you in plural. Okay. okay. Uh, another example could be, uh, for example, the, let me see. Uh, let me see. English is important. No, oh, it's important for you. Okay. This is a you in plural, right? So uh, let me see another example that you can use with you. Let me check. Write it. I told you. Okay, for example. Okay, are you ready for the test today? People? Yes. Yes? Right now, in this moment? Brenda, are you ready for the test? Robert, are you ready for the test? Yes, teacher. Complete. Okay, good. Yeah, good. Nice. It is? Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. Then I told you, okay, I told you all the group, okay, I told you about, about the test. Okay, give me more space. I told you about the test last night. Okay, it's the you that you see here. Okay, here you see the subject. Then you see here the... The action. Okay, and here is the object. Okay. Pronoun, yes. Okay. Yes, so decimos, I told you, le dije, les dije, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, this is what we say, I told you last night. Okay. I, then you say, for example, I gave you. I gave you. I gave you many examples. Okay. Now, uh, if you see, uh, sometimes to to use it, uh, Robert. Sometimes we need a context. Okay. Oh, okay. Necesitamos poner un contexto para entenderlo mejor, right? Mm -hmm. Because not, uh, it's not the same when when I when I say, for example, that. Uh, 
it, it is i it is i brought you the i brought you the book okay it's a you it's plural or singular is singular singular yes uh -huh. when i say eh, that's correct right good questions no problem Look at them y vean si tienen alguna pregunta. No. Okay, so then if you see here, uh, when you say the name, for example, Robert, I asked you, I will ask you a favor. Okay, I'm referring only to Robert. Then is the you is singular. Uh, let's see who else is here. Let's say, they tell me, I will tell you something after the class. I will tell you. Okay, le voy a decir. Okay, only you, but I say tell me. Uh, Floor and tell me. Uh, I will give you uh, some exercises, okay, about this. When I say floor and del me, then the you is plural, okay? So then uh, in this in this case, it's probably, you know, you need some, oh, you always need a reference, right? Uh, hay que seguir la secuencia in a conversation or when you want to, to say something, okay? So then, then you won't be able to, to miss it. Okay. Now let's see here. It says, read the following sentence. Sentences complete by using do, does, don't, doesn't, or object pronouns. Okay, here, I'm gonna use do, does, don't, or doesn't. Like in this one. Do. Okay, so Do we have you like science like fiction movies. Okay, perfect. Okay. Now pay attention to this. Okay. Do you like science fiction movies? What are we talking about? I handle the say okay, say la secuencia y la referencia, right? What are we talking about? Do no. no. That's the answer. No, I don't. don't. No, I don't. Don't. Solo don't. No, Okay, no, yes, but you say, for example, do you like science fiction movies? What are we talking about? ¿De qué estamos hablando? Película, una película. What movies? Uh -huh. De ficción. Science fiction movies, okay? Ciencia ficción. Uh -huh. If we change, if we change science fiction movies for an object pronoun, what object pronouns do we use here? You. No. Do you like, because then you would say, do you like you? No. Huh? No. Uh -huh. Do you like? ¿Qué pronombre usaríamos acá? Es complemento. No, pero, ¿qué pronombre utilizaríamos acá? It. It. it is singular, uh -huh. but it is singular, mm -hmm. but this is plural. But you're very close. Mm -hmm. you. What? Them. Them. them, okay. Do you like yeah. them? Okay. Mm -hmm. This is important, this is important. Okay, when we are using this, okay? Then here you say, no, I don't. Okay, no sé. No, I don't. Yeah, this one, I guess. A ver, cuál de los dos, a ver. Okay, look, no, I don't. 
Do you like science fiction movies? No, I don't. I don't like them. 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 Okay, them. Very much. Them. Okay. You see the sequence? Okay, do you like science fiction movies? No, I don't. Okay, I don't like them very much. I don't like them very much. Very good. Then the next one. Question. Do. Do. Do, do because do, Jay. Do yes. Uh -huh, exactly. Mm -hmm. Do Jay nice. and Lisa. Yes. Do they, mm -hmm. do Jay and Lisa like soap operas? Okay. Then Jake. Doesn't. 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 Yeah, look, but introduces a, something different, something, a, a contrast, opposite to the first opinion. So if this is negative, this has to be positive. Or doesn't. Okay. Doesn't. 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 Okay, good. But I don't know about Lisa, okay? Do they like? Why don't you ask? Her. Her. Her, okay, because it's Lisa. Her. Very good, there you go, excellent. What, what kind of music? Do. Do. Do Noriko and Nathan like? Okay. Do? What do you? No. Does. 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 What does? What does he what play? play? Uh-huh. The shell. Uh -huh. I have his new CD. Let's listen to. It. 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 The CD, right? Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. After. After. Let's listen to Andrea Bocelli. I love him. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay, because it's Andrea Bocelli. He's the best. Okay, you see, this is a, that's why I told you hay que seguirle la referencia and the sequence, right? So, siempre se necesita a reference. Yo, para comprender mejor, when to use it, them, him, her. Okay, or does, even here, for example, when you say Jake and Lisa is do because it's they. Okay, si cambiamos a Jake and Lisa, we're gonna use here, do they like soap operas? Okay, now let's see. If, okay, I think here, Aquí creo que era Taz, por eso que nos... El apóstrofe. O es el apóstrofe, una de las dos. Es que mi, my, a mí en mi computadora no me lo... Mi cita de agarra este. Let's see. Ok, es así. Bueno, yo this one, <laughs> tengo que buscar el apóstrofe. According to this, this is the other one. Okay. Por si tienen algún problema así, ya saben que también ese puede ser un problem, right? Okay, good. Yes. That's the one. Okay, good. So all of them are correct, right? Now, questions? So far, so clear, good. So far, so good. Okay, in this lesson, participants will listen uh, to what? To, will listen, notice, and use intonation in questions. Okay.
In this lesson, participants will listen, notice, and use intonation in questions. Pronunciation. Intonation in questions. Part A. Listen and practice. Yes-no questions usually have rising intonation. WH questions usually have falling intonation. Do you like pop music? What kind of music do you like? Okay, so now that you have listened and paid attention, what I want you to do is to record your voice asking these questions. Try to do your best. Remember, rising and falling intonation is important. Okay. Questions usually, questions usually have rising intonation. WH questions usually have falling intonation. So the falling. Do you like pop music? What kind of music do you like? Okay, do you like pop music? And what kind of music do you like? Do you like pop music? What kind of music do you like? So the WH questions go down and the yes no questions go up. All right? Now let's listen again. Intonation in questions. Part A. Listen and practice. Yes no questions usually have rising intonation. WH questions usually have falling intonation. Do you like pop music? What kind of music do you like? Okay. So now that you have listened and paid attention, what I want you to do is to record your voice asking these questions. Try to do your best. Remember, rising and falling intonation is important. What kind of music do you like? Okay, good. Then, uh, uh, let me see, Carmina, can you please read the two sentences? Yes, do you like do you like pop music and what kind of music do you like? Okay, read the two sentences. No. Okay, Delmi, can you please read the two sentences? Can you hear me? Yes, okay. teacher. Yes. Can you please read the two sentences? Okay, teacher. Do you like pop music? Okay. What kind of music do you like? All right. Very good. Thank you. Robert? Yes, teacher. Can you please read the two sentences? Okay. Do you like pop music? What kind of music do you like? Okay, very good. Nice. And let's see who else do we have here. Uh, it is. Yes. Do you like pop music? Uh, what kind of music do you, you like? Do you like? Okay. Brenda? Uh, yeah. Do you like pop music? What kind? Of music, do you like? What kind? Uh, what, what, kind of, what, kind, what kind of music do you like? What kind of music do you like? Huh? What kind of music do you like? Good. Okay, remember those intonations when it goes up and then when it goes down, right? Okay. Okay. So now that you have listened and paid attention, what I want you to do is to record your voice asking these questions. Try to do your best. Remember, rising and falling intonation is important. Okay, good. Okay, now, uh, Brenda, read the sentences. All of them. Okay. Do you like to watch TV? Do you like music? Do you play a musical instrument? What program do you like? What videos do what you video, like? What videos? 
What video do you like? Uh, which music instrument do you play? Okay, which musical instrument do you play? Okay, it is the six sentences. Remember, do you like watch TV? Up. Information okay. questions down. Do you like to watch TV? Do you like music? Do you play music instruments? Um, what, what program do you like? What videos do you like? Okay. Which musical instrument do you play? Do you play? Very good. Excellent. Robert. Okay. Do you like to watch music? To watch. Do you like to watch TV? Okay. Perdón. Do no you problem. like to watch TV? <clears throat> do you like music? Do you play a music instrument? What program do you like? What video do you like? Which musical instrument do you play? Which musical instrument do you play? Good. Then a floor. Yes, teacher. Okay. Read the sentences. Okay. Do you like to watch TV? Do you like music? Do you play a music instrument? What programs do you like? What videos do you like? Which musical instrument do you play? Do you play? Okay, I don't know. Tell me if you if you can listen. Yes, teacher. Okay, read the sentences, please. Do you like to watch TV? Do you like music? Do you play a music instrument? What pro programs do you like? What videos do you like? Which music instrument do you play? Do you play? Very good. Okay, good. Carmina, can you? Yes. Okay, go ahead. Do you like to watch TV? Do okay. you like music? Do you play music instrument? What program do you like? What videos do you like? Which musical instrument do you play? Do you play? Okay, good. Thank you. Okay, just uh, remember that this is the to have a better intonation. Okay, you're gonna use yes no questions rising, and the information question: What programs do you like? What videos do you like? What mus which musical instruments do you play? Then they're going down, okay? Then. Okay, that's for intonation. All right, Robert, can you please read this objective here? In this lesson, participants will listen to a TV show where they have to pay attention to their details, details. The details above the quotation. Okay, very good. So then this is a TV show and you pay attention to details, to the small parts about the people who are participating in the show, right? The contestants, okay? Now, who's my date? What is who's my date? Who is my date? What is that meaning? Who is? Mm -hmm. Who is my date? King is Mesita. Exactly, right? But this is, you know, like, for example, when you are looking for a couple, right? A man or a woman. Then, here says, listen to four people on a TV game show, three men to invite Linda on a date. What kind of things do they like? What kind of things does Linda like? Does the correct answer, choose the correct answer for each participant. Okay, first we are going to listen.
only listen. Listen to four people on a TV game show. Three men want to invite Linda on a date. What kinds of things do they like? What kinds of things does Linda like? Welcome to Who's My Date? Today, Linda is going to meet Bill, John, and Tony. So, let's start with the first question on music. Bill, what kind of music do you like? Oh, classical music. Classical, okay. And how about you, John? Well, I like jazz. And you, Tony? My favorite music is rock. How about you, Linda? Well, I like pop music. I don't like jazz or classical music very much. Okay, now let's talk about movies. Bill, what kind of movies do you like? I like thrillers. And how about you, John? Oh, I like westerns. Westerns are good. And how about you, Tony? I love horror films. And what about you, Linda? I really like horror films, too. <laughs> and now for question number three. Bill, what kind of TV programs do you like? Well, I like to watch news programs. John? Uh, well, you know, I really like talk shows. And Tony, how about you? I like game shows a lot. And Linda, what do you like? Well, I like talk shows and game shows. <laughs> okay, time is up. Now, who's the best date for Linda? Okay, now take a look at the questions. What kind of music does Bill like? What kind of music does, what kind of movies does Bill like? And the TV programs. Uh, about John, the music, movies for John and the programs. And then the same case for Tony. Tony. Tony about the programs, and then you have Linda. Okay, you have to see which one matches with who. Now, uh, news programs, talk shows, game shows, talk shows, and game shows. This is, these are her answers. Okay, listen again. Listen to four people on a TV game and show. Now, look at it. Three men want to invite Linda on a date. What kinds of things do they like? What kinds of things does Linda like? Welcome to Who's My Date? Today, Linda is going to meet Bill, John, and Tony. So, let's start with the first question on music. Bill, what kind of music do you like? Oh, classical music. Classical, okay. And how about you, John? Well, I like jazz. And you, Tony? My favorite music is rock. How about you, Linda? Well, I like pop music. I don't like jazz or classical music very much. Okay, now let's talk about movies. Bill, what kind of movies do you like? I like thrillers. And how about you, John? Oh, I like westerns. Westerns are good. And how about you, Tony? I love horror films. And what about you, Linda? I really like horror films, too. <laughs> and now for question number three. Bill, what kind of TV programs do you like? Well, I like to watch news programs. John? Uh, well, you know, I really like talk shows. And Tony, how about you? I like game shows a lot. And Linda, what do you like? Well, I like talk shows and game shows. Okay, time is up. Now, who's the best date for Linda? Okay. <laughs> okay, now you have an idea, right? Okay, what kind of music does Bill like? Classic. Classical, okay, classical. 
Classical. Classical. Classical. Okay, next one. Thriller. Thrillers. All right. Thrillers. How about the next one? It's program. New program. News. News. News program. A news program. Okay, number four. Yes. 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 Western. 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 Westerns. 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 Okay. The next one. Talk show. Talk Viva. Talk shows. Talk shows. Talk shows. Talk shows. All right. Tony Light. Rock. 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 Movies. Horror, Horror movies. Horror, Horror, movies. Horror, Horror movies. movies. Next one. Game show. Show. Pop. Game shows. Yes. Game show. Is uh, shows and game shows. Shows and game shows. This one. Yeah. Yes. No. Okay. Game. Game show. Game shows. Game show. Okay. Good. All right. Let's clear that and then we check mm. it after. Después vemos quién tenía la razón, okay? What kind of music Game. does Linda like? Pop. Here? Pop. 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 What kind of movies does Linda like? Horror, Horror films. films. Horror films. Twelve. Tell shows and gay show. This one. Yeah. Okay. Good. Okay. <laughs> this one is correct. This one is correct. What one is missing? Okay, okay. Right. Shows. It was game shows. Very good. Okay, and all right. Only that one. Okay, good. Excellent. Okay. So then we are going to correct this one, game shows. And there we are. Okay, very good. Well done. Okay, you see, this is... Uh, a strategy, right, for listening. First, eh, it's good only to listen. Okay, lo mejor es escuchar primero para adaptarse, and then after, you check the answers or questions, the vocabulary, and then you listen again. Yeah, cuando se ha contestado, you can listen una tercera vez. Dos, two, three times is okay. You don't need more than that. Okay. No problem? No. Okay, good. Brenda gives the okay. She says no. <laughs> okay. Then. Okay, esta es la práctica. Then we're going to do this. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation where would for invitations is used when making plans, okay? Now you're gonna see the invitations using would. In this lesson, participants would listen to a conversation where would for invitations is used when making plans. We will learn through this conversation how to accept or refuse an invitation. As you listen to the audio program, pay attention to expressions such as I'd like to and I'd love to. An invitation. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I'd love to. What time does it start? At 8 o'clock. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at 6? 
Uh, I'd like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Okay, let's meet at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. See you there. At 8 o'clock. That's... I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Okay, there you have the first one. It says, would you like to go? Would you like to go? Okay, this is like, do you want to go? But more polite. Okay, this is in a polite manner, polite way. A very courteous manner. Thanks. I'd love to. What time does it start? At 8 o'clock. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at 6? Okay, see, do you want to have dinner? And would you like to go? Here you can say, would you like to have dinner? It will be more, more formal and more polite. But this is informal. Okay, would you like to have dinner? It will be formal. And do you want to have dinner? It's like, yeah, quieres comer, right? Okay, quieres cenar, so it sounds less formal. And then look at the answer. I like to. Okay, I like to. Uh, I'd like to, but I have to work late. Okay, I like to is a polite way. Okay, to say, mm, no, but I have to work. Okay. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Okay. Let's meet at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. Six. Uh, okay. Questions about vocabulary? Or any new expressions? No. Teacher. Mm -hmm. La, um, donde dice Susan tense, eh, luego dice I. I love to. I love to. Uh -huh. Esa, mm -hmm. esa, esa, oh, ¿cómo se llama? Contraction. Uh -huh. It's good. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Pero, ¿cómo se traduce? I love to. Me encantaría. Me encantaría. Mm -hmm. I love to. Okay, only that. Okay, so then, um, uh, Robert, you are Dave, and Iris, you are Susan, okay? okay. I had ticket to the soccer match on Friday night. Where, where do you like to go? Thanks. I'd love to. What time does... It starts at eight o'clock. That's some green. So, do you want to have dinner at six o'clock? Oh. oh, I like to, but I hate the word late. Yes. Oh, that's okay. Let Let's use me at the stadium before the match are. Matt Arons 720 30 and 30. Okay, let me add today. That's some fine. See you see you there. See you there. Okay. See you when you get there. Okay, fine. Then uh, let's see. Tell me you are going to be Dave. 
And Carmina, you are Susan. I have ticket to the soccer match of Friday night. How, how you like to go? Thanks. I love you. What I do is start at A. That's so great. So, do you want to dinner? Do you want to have dinner at six o'clock? Um, it like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that okay. Let's just meet at the stadium. stadium. Before. Come on. A stadium. A stadium. A stadium. A stadium before the march around seven. Seven thirty. Thirty. Okay. Let me. At the gate, gate, gate. That song, fine. See you there. See you there. Correct. Okay. Now, Floor and Brenda. Brenda, you are Dave, and Floor, you are Susan. Okay. I have thing tickets to the tickets to the soccer match. On Friday night, what you do like to go? To go. Thanks, I love to. What time does it start? Ah, eight o'clock. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at six? Mm, I like to bow about I bow. I had to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Okay, let's meet at the great gate. Okay. That sounds fine. See you there. Okay, good. See you there. Good. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. It says, would you like to go? Would, would, would you like to go? I'd love to. What time does it start? At 8 o'clock. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at 6? Uh, I'd like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Okay. Let's meet at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. See you there. Okay, so that's the, the use of wood. And tomorrow we're gonna practice with the questions, right? With the questions using wood. Okay, remember that wood is, uh, how can I tell you this? It's an auxiliary verb that makes all the verbs sound more polite. Okay, for example, would you go, irías? Would you stay, te quedarías, right? Uh, would you play, jugarías? Okay, would you tell, dirías? So this is, yes, is for example, when you use wood. And it makes the expression sounds more polite. Se usa para usar más de forma más cortés. Okay, sounds more educated. You say, would you, would you help me? Me ayudaría? It's different one. For example, when you say, can you help me? Me puedes ayudar. Sounds more, more informal, right? And would sounds more formal. Okay, I, I would go. Yo iría. I would, uh, I would help you, te ayudaría, but I can't, I don't have time, okay? So then this is the, the, the meaning of would. Any questions for the moment? 
No question. No questions. Okay. No question. Then practice and um, well, revisen lo que hemos visto hoy y que ya mañana nos toca práctica de ya con preguntas. Ahí está, dice would. Vamos a hacer así como ayer. Just no questions with would and information questions. What would you like? What would you do? Okay. Just in this kind of questions. Okay, everybody. So have a good night. Okay, teacher. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good okay. night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Bye bye. Bye. Goodbye.